Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'll be covering uh, the weld tool. Uh, there's a few different ways to weld in Cinema 4D uh, and I'll cover the main welding tools uh, today. Uh, so hopefully you learned something and let's just jump in I'll show you uh, what you can do. Uh, so the, the welding tools, let me see. Yeah, I think you can weld your points and edges. Uh, so let me just try it real quick and see what we can do here. So let me just extrude this right here. And uh, so the first tool we're gonna cover is the stitch and saw, which is uh, MP, as the shortcut. So this is pretty simple. All you have to do, you don't have to select any points. You just uh, click on this tool. And uh, you click on this point and then you drag into another point and it will weld two points together. So let me show you again. You don't have to select anything, just hover over the point. Uh, start dragging into another point and it welds the points together just like this really easy uh, let me try the same thing with edges so yeah works the same way you can do it with edges as you can see sometimes it gives you a weird result because i think i have the create and gun selected so let me just deselect that yeah sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but i usually use this tool for points as you can see it did a pretty good job so you can weld your points, uh, you can weld your edges, really nice. And uh, the shortcut is MP. So this is really useful. For example, uh, if you select this face and uh, disconnect it, so let me just disconnect, move it over, uh, maybe maybe rotate, so on. And then uh, you collect, uh, connect all the points. So let me just uh, command drag into the other edge to uh, connect these edges together. So you have something like this, and then you decide, well, I don't want this uh, point to be here. So you would just click MP for a stitch and saw, and just click and drag from one point to another, or from one edge to another, and uh, it welds it for you. And uh, sometimes you have uh, points you know, overlaid with each other. So let me just take this point here and extrude it down and you don't really see it maybe you're working somewhere else and then you apply subdivision surface and all of a sudden you realize you have two points here so you can obviously delete it but sometimes the points are actually on your edge uh, so you would do is just click uh, stitch and saw click on this point drag it into another point and then you have you fix your geometry pretty much uh, so this is one way to weld uh, the other way to weld is to actually use the weld tool which is MQ, uh, which is this one right here, the weld tool. And it works the same way, but this one, you have to actually select points. So I selected these two points, and then I can click weld. And it gives me an option to weld in the middle of the two points, uh, at the first location or the last location of the point that you selected. So for example, you can do something like this. You can weld it in the middle, and you can uh, weld it at the first point. So this tool is really useful when you have you know, like a cross section like this. Let me just uh, get a cut here. And then you have a whole bunch of points, or maybe, let me just do another cut. And uh, for some reason, you know, you have this going on and you want to weld all these points together because you don't want them. So you just select the points, maybe this one and this one, click weld. And not only it welds the points, it, uh, it deletes the edge that was extra. So same thing here. You can just select these two points, click on the weld tool, weld it, and then it gets rid of your uh, edge and the point at the same time. So these are the two main uh, welding tools. Uh, another way uh, you can weld is using the uh, polygon pen tool as well. Uh, you can, uh, like I showed you before, you just delete the face. So you have something like this going on. and. Uh, so this is not really welding, it's kind of creating, but at the same time it's welding. Uh, so you just click on one of your edges or points, click command, and you just drag from one to another, and you can weld your faces like this. Uh, but I covered this in my other previous video, so if you want to check it out, for the polygon pen tool, where I explain how to use it, uh, you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, but anyway guys, so uh, the stitch and saw and uh, the weld tool uh, are really useful. Make sure you know how to use them. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff, you know, fix your geometry when you have all kinds of different edges or points floating around. 
Uh, so let me just show you one more time. For the weld tool, make sure you have three or more points selected. So for example, I'll select these uh, five points and I'll weld them in the middle and see it collapses all those points into one. And uh, for the stitch and saw, you don't have to select anything, but it works to, you know, one to one ratio or yeah, from one to another like this. So you have to highlight the one, click, left click, and then drag into another. Uh, so there's, you know, a few different scenarios you're going to uh, encounter when you're modeling. And uh, these two tools are going to you, help you a lot. And uh, don't, remember, don't forget the edges as well. So if you have two different edges, you can just do stitch and saw. And you can weld those two edges together. And um, the weld tool, I think, only works for uh, points. So let me try to weld these two uh, edges yeah it does but it's it's usually better to do in points as you can see it just drops those points into one so even though you have edges selected it still works as a points uh, in the point mode kind of uh, so just keep that in mind uh, but anyway guys uh, hopefully this uh, video helped you with these uh, two welding tools uh, so just keep practicing and uh, experiment with those tools when you're modeling and it's really gonna help you uh, solve uh, your mesh trouble troubleshoot your mesh when you have uh, problems uh, anyway thanks for watching subscribe and uh, I will see you in my next video guys as always have a good day